viewers welcome to the video lecture series for job role hand embroiderer class 9 in this video we will learn about fly stitch the formed stitch resembles the wings of a fly and is therefore known as fly stitch it helps in forming design like small plants birds glass and many more before start the embroidery work we required some material like embroidery frame or hoop fabric fabric should be clean starch free and iron embroidery needle embroidery thread of floss thimble scissor carbon paper design or motif traced on butter paper pen or pencil preparation before embroidery before start the embroidery work fabric should be clean starch free and iron trace the design on fabric through carbon paper first place the fabric at even place place should be neat and clean now place the carbon paper onto fabric place the design sheet trace the design sheet with the help of pen or pencil if your drawing skills or sketching is good you can directly draw the design Now your design and motif is ready. Now fix the trace fabric on embroidery frame or hoop. For fixing, loose the screw of the embroidery frame or hoop. Separate the rings and place one ring below the fabric. And second ring above the fabric and Tight the screw. Stretch the fabric firmly. Okay. Insert the thread or floss in the needle. Do not take too long or too short thread. Generally, in embroidery thread or floss, six strands are there, but usually we take two strands. Make a small knot at the end of the thread at one end only. Let's start the fly stitch. Bring needle up or right side of the fabric at the line of the design. Work stitches from top to bottom letting the thread hang in the form of semicircle take out the needle from the opposite side a little farther from the first stitch forming a v shape by keeping the thread under the needle insert the needle below the looped thread required to hold the loop in place Carry out the next stitch in, in the same way. Continue in this manner for the entire line or design. You can use two or more color threads. After completion of the design, take the thread at the back side of the fabric and make a loop. Then pull the thread from loop to end the stitch. Cut extra thread. Now your design or motif is ready now let's me summarize or wrap up the embroidery steps quickly place the fabric at neat and clean surface and trace the outline of the design fix the fabric on embroidery frame now start the embroidery work 
After completion of the stitch, finish the embroidery work. Your design or motif is ready. So, thank you viewers. Learn by doing and give your best. That's all for this video. In next video, we will learn feather stitch. Till then, enjoy viewing and keep learning.